Um, I haven't posted a video lately. Um, I wanted to post a video on why I've been, um, I haven't had a video lately. <laughs> uh, the reason why is, you know, I don't know if, if, well, like everyone doesn't know, honestly. Um, but I live with multiple sclerosis and I'm sure, you know, people have heard that before, you know, MS, multiple sclerosis. Um, and it doesn't flare up all the time. Just when it does do flare up, you know, I do have pretty good flare ups. I mean, sometimes they're just mild and I can just take some medicine and kind of sleep through it. Other times, you know, I can't sleep through it. And then this recent one, um, it was definitely a good one. Um, that little Emma sucker really got me this time. And so it kind of laid me out for a couple of days. I went to the hospital. And that's why I haven't been doing videos lately. I've been so tired and just wanting to get my orders done on my shop. I even had my shop, you know, they say don't put your shop on vacation mode because it's almost like death mode for an Etsy um, shop be, to be on vacation mode. And so I did actually put it on vacation mode because I thought that's not fair to customers who look at my shop and want to buy something and there I'm, you know, down and out and really can't get to the order in a timely manner and get that out shipped in a timely manner. So I thought, well, it's not fair. So I'm going to put my shop on vacation mode. And I did, I did put on vacation mode for about, um, three, four days. Didn't take long for me to think, you know, um, I think I'm doing okay now, but uh, well, uh, better, I'm doing better. Um, it's going to take some time. I do still get tired, but it doesn't, I'm not getting as tired as often. And so, so I can tell I'm getting better. So anyway, um, I just wanted to post a video with that and let everyone know what's going on. Let my customers and let my followers know what's going on, why I haven't done a video lately or a tutorial. But I do plan on um, surprise. I have, want to show my surprise, my excitement for something that I did get. Um, I did get in, get it in. I did order it, so I did get it in, and I wanted to share it. I will have a video on that, which is very exciting. Um, I can't wait to share it. Anyway, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say what it was or what it is. So, um, did want to share that, and also um, another video on something else that I do want to share, and I will share that video soon. Um, you know, with my MS, I do have a house that has. Uh, two story house so it was not um, it probably wasn't wise for me to one uh, had to have two story house but I loved it and bought it anyway and um, and we've been here for almost two years or a little over two years but it probably my Bennett my my choice was to have my shop upstairs my office upstairs well it probably wasn't beneficial for that considering, you know, I'm having these problems with MS, stairs is not the best thing for me at all. I really couldn't even walk the stairs. I had to crawl up the stairs and then scoot my butt down the stairs on each level, each stair step. So it really was like awful. So my husband and son graciously, thankfully moved me downstairs and I moved my son upstairs. So now we swapped and I'm going to do a little tutorial on my new kind of like room to me and um, show you my new shop room for my embroidery business. My tumbler business is still upstairs on one of the rooms upstairs. So I couldn't fit them both in here in the embroidery because I really wanted to separate the embroidery and the um, tumbler because you've got tumblers involved epoxy and sticky stuff and glitter and it's just messy. It's more messier than of course embroidery. So and I didn't want to mess up any of the embroidery blanks or anything like that with glitter and epoxy and the smell. Yeah, no, I try to keep them separate. Um, so, so my tumbler and my sublimation is upstairs and my embroidery is now downstairs. So um, I'll still have to go upstairs event sometimes, but um, usually with tumblers, you get them started, you get them rolling and you can just tur shut the door and leave them, let them turn and do their curing. No big deal. Let me go downstairs and do whatever you need. Um, embroidery it takes a little bit more time and effort and detail so um, so just want to let you know that too and I'll be showing some videos on my new craft room downstairs and my exciting new something 
<laughs> that I got that I got done. So that's really exciting for me and I can't wait to share it. So I really appreciate all my followers. I do have I do see I do have now six hundred followers and that is super super exciting. Thank you so much for following my channel. Um, I will have like I said new more new tutorials to watch on tumblers and sublimation. I am um, fixing my printer. My printer had my sublimation printer had some hiccups and I have from learned how to fix that. And basically it's um, just really minor fixes, new cartridges, um, new refillable cartridges. It's probably handy to have new ones handy. I didn't have one, any of them. And also um, I'm going to do a video on another thing I bought for my printer, which is a external um, waste tank. So that really helps um, to have your tank, your waste tank not full. That's probably what's wrong with my printer too right now. So I have to fix that. So once I get that, my sublimation printer will be up and going again, and now I can start doing more sublimation um, t-shirts, doormats, you name it. So anyway, I'll have some more tutorials on that. So so great things to come. Um, keep on watching. Please sure you like and subscribe and, and click that bell. That way you get notified for the future um, videos I'll be posting soon. Those tutorials, my little excitement that I want to share, and my um, craft room tour. Thanks for watching. Bye.